Lisa is an ordinary high school girl who is interested in bioengineering, and she wants to study in this field when she goes to the university. She is at her life turning point when the university applying season is coming. Here comes the questions: Which university is suitable for her? Harvard or MIT? Duke or Tufts? There are a lot of great university with good reputation in America. So how can she choose based on her old background? There are a lot of factors should be taken into consideration. For example, the tuition: is the university too expensive to afford or not? What's more, the ranking, the culture, as well as the location of the university are also influential. And obviously, the score a university requires matters a lot too. Lisa knows that choosing a suitable university is significantly important for her pursuit, which means that making the decision is pretty tough. She's really exhausted by searching scattered information on the website. We notice that there are a lot of high school students struggling with university options, so that we came up with our project idea. We think visualizing information with comparison comprehensively could be a good tool for providing guidance and help. Next, let's see how our project function work. For our visualization. We use data on the top universities in the United States from the U.S. News and World Rankings 2018 report. We wanted to make a visualization that was easy to use and allowed college applicants a way to quickly get the information they need. The first component of this visualization is a map of the United States. This map is broken down by each state. You can see which states have the most school options available, and by clicking on each state. You can see all the different schools in that state, broken down into all of the various categories that we have, such as acceptance rate, average ACT score, tuition, and enrollment numbers. You can also click back on the state to go back to the the top 30 schools, which are the default on the charts. In the charts, by hovering your mouse over the different sorted bars. You can get more information about each school, such as overall rank, the ACT score, enrollment numbers, tuition both before and after financial aid, as well as acceptance rate. Also, by clicking on the school, you can add it to the, your list of schools, which will appear in the top right corner of the screen. So let's say that I'm selecting schools from the state of New York. Maybe our user has a cousin there, or they've always wanted to go to New York. So they look at Columbia, Cornell, NYU, and a few other schools that they might be interested in. If they want to go back and visit that list of schools, they can click on their schools in the top right corner and scroll through and get all the information that they need. They can also clear the list of schools with the Clear Schools button at the bottom of this section. For more information about each of these schools, they can click on the name of the school in their school list, which will take them to the Google search page for the school. This way, they can get the information that they need quickly without having to dig through a lot of data on our visualization. Some interesting findings we found through this visualization was that. Population of a state and the number of schools in the state were very highly correlated. You can see that California and Texas and New York all had the most schools and also have the highest populations of the U.S. states. The biggest exception to this rule was the state of Massachusetts, which, despite having a relatively small population, is known for having many top-tier universities, such as Harvard, MIT, Boston University, and Tufts University. Your university experience gives you the knowledge and skills to make your world better. The first essential step of this experience is choosing the right school. We built this project, want to help people to make the wise choice. So this is Coco, Zach, and Jinglei. Hope you enjoy the video. Bye.